Good morning, dear students. Today, I am going to start Unit 2, Programming of 8085 Microprocessor. Under this unit, we have to learn the details of instruction format, addressing modes, assembly language format, data transfer, data manipulation, and control instructions, programming under this loop structure with the counting and indexing, lookup table, subroutine instructions, and strap. We will see each topic one by one. First of all, let us see the basic concepts. Programming of microprocessor. First, what is microprocessor? Programming refers to the process of developing a program. Okay, so programming refers to the process of developing a program. A program is a sequence of instructions that can operate on certain data. There are Three levels of programming, they are machine language, assembly language, high level language. Okay. Let's see one by one. First one is machine language. Machine language programs are programs written in sets of zeros and ones. Okay. Machine language program are programs written in sets of zeros and ones. It is the only language that the CPU can understand and execute directly. So this is about machine language information. The second one is assembly language program. Assembly language programs are written using character strings called mnemonics. Okay, assembly language programs are written using character strings called mnemonics. So that they are more easily understood by people. Assembly language instructions have more or less one-to-one -one correspondence with the machine language instruction. The third one is high-level language. High-level language are, uh, are written in any one of the language like BASIC, Pascal, C, C++, Java and Python in the form of statement rather than mnemonics. Okay. So these are all high level language. So using compiler and interpreter, the high level language translates into machine language. Okay. So the program accepts English like statement as its input. So this input is called source code. The compiler then translates the source code into machine language of the processor being used in the system. So this translation in the machine language is called object code. So each microprocessor needs own compiler for each high level language. See the diagram. The first one is machine language diagram. Here the machine language contains assembly, then assembler, then machine language that is low level language three blocks the first one is assembly the second one is assembler and third one is low level machine language the main difference between machine language and assembly language are machine language is the one is only understand by the computer okay machine language is only understand by the computers whereas in case of assembly language is one they understand by human beings, not by the computers. So that is the main difference between machine language and assembly language. Then the next point is in case of machine language, data only represented with the help of binary format, that is zeros and ones, in terms of hexadecimal number or octal decimal, octal decimal value. Whereas in case of assembly language, data can be represented with the help of mnemonics such as move instruction, add instruction, subtract instruction that is SUV, end, etc. Okay, these are all assembly language format that is mnemonics. Okay, then third difference is machine language is very difficult to understand by the human beings because it contains only zeros and ones. So, it is very difficult to understand by the human beings. 
Whereas in case of assembly language, it is easy to understand by the human beings as compared to the machine language. Okay, then next difference is modification and error fixing cannot be done in machine language. Okay, whereas in case of assembly language, modification and error fixing can be done in assembly language. Then next difference is machine language is very difficult to memorize. So it is not possible to learn the machine language. Okay, whereas in case of assembly language, easy to memorize the assembly language because some alphabets and mnemonics are used. Well. So these are the advantages of assembly language program. Okay, the next difference is in case of machine language, execution is fast. Execution speed is speed is high. In case of machine language, because all data is already present in binary format, so execution speed is high. Whereas assembly language, the execution speed is slow as compared to machine language. That's the disadvantage of assembly language program. Okay. Then um, there is no need of translator in case of machine language. The machine understandable form is the machine language so there is no need of translator whereas in case of assembly language assembler is used to translate to convert mnemonics into machine understandable form so assembler is needed see the diagram the second block is assembler so the assembler function is translate the that is a translate the assembly language into machine language for that purpose assembler is used so the next difference is machine language is hardware dependent whereas in case of assembly language is the machine dependent and it is not portable. So these are the difference between machine language and assembly language programs. Okay, see the diagram machine language, the third block is machine language that is low level language. The next block is high level language, a low level language and a high level language both are programmable language, programming language or programmable language. The main difference between high level language and the low level language is that the programmers can easily understand or interpret or compile the high level language in comparison of machine language. Okay, on the other hand, machine can easily understand the low level language in comparison of human beings. The examples of high level languages are C, C++, Java, Python. Okay, C, C++, Java, Python. So these are all high level language examples. Let's see the difference between high level and low level. Okay. In case of high level language, it is a programmer friendly language. Okay, it is high level language is here programmer friend, friendly language whereas the low level language is a machine friendly language okay then high level language is less memory efficient whereas low level language is a high memory efficient then high level language is easy to understand low level language is tough to understand then high level language is simple to debug Whereas low level language is complex to debug comparatively high level language. Then high level language is simple to maintain. Whereas low level language is complex to maintain comparatively. Then high level language is portable. Whereas low level language is non portable. Then high level language can run on any platform. Whereas low level language is machine dependent. Then high level language needs a compiler or interpreter for translation. Whereas low level language needs assembler for translation. High level language is used uh, widely for programming. Whereas low level language is not commonly used nowadays in programming. So these are the difference between high level language and low level language. Now you all have understood the three types of languages clearly.